video I'm showing you how I learned to play in third position on the violin. And I'm also giving you some exercises so you can start practicing yourself. A year ago I made a video about what to learn in the first year of playing the violin. And several people asked me whether I was planning to make a similar video about the second year of playing the violin. I did many things I also did in the first year, but learning to play in third position was actually a big part of that. So that's why I'm making a video about shifting to third position on the violin. And I'm providing you with the same exercises my teacher gave to me last year, which helped me to get started in third position. I have put these together into a PDF, added a fancy cover to it, and the link to download and print this is in the description box below. Okay, let's get started! When would be the moments for you to shift to third position on the violin? One reason would be to be able to play higher notes. In first position, the highest note you can play is B. In third position, you can play two notes higher, up to D. Secondly, playing something in third position can be much easier than playing it in first position. For example, uh, playing something in first position may result in many, many string crossings, while if you play that piece in third position, you can stay on one string and are less likely to mess up. And a third reason would be to do vibrato. For example, if you are going to play a long A note, well, you can play an open A, of course, but maybe you want to do some vibrato on that. Well, then you can go to the D string and do it with your pinky, but that's not that comfortable. So in third position, you would play that note with your second finger, which makes doing vibrato way, way easier. Okay, so where actually can we find third position on the violin? When you play in third position, you shift your hand up the fingerboard until your first finger is at the exact same spot your third finger used to be in first position. So if you are playing a D in first position, you are playing it with your third finger, but in third position that D would be played with your first finger. On the G string the third finger is a C, so in third position your first finger will, will be C. On the D string your third finger is a G, so here your first finger is on that G. On the A string the third finger is on D, so now it's first finger on D. And on the E string the third finger is on A and in third position your first finger will be on A. So those notes where your first finger is in third position will be your anchor points. That's enough talking, let's try it out. Okay, let's do an exercise to find third position using your ears. First I will play an open A string, then a B, then a C sharp and then a D. Then I will play an open A, B, C sharp again and then shift to that D with my first finger. I'll show you how it goes. Um, and then feel free to pause the video and try it yourself on all four strings. Okay, so we just did a warm up to find third position by ear and to get a bit used to the shifting. So get your sheets and go to exercise one. To explain how it works, I will walk you through the first exercise in the book. Okay, first off, you will play the song in first position to hear what it sounds like. First you play the G notes with your third finger, then you shift until your first finger is on that note. And then you can actually intuitively play the song in, in third position. So then the G will be played with the first finger. Uh, the next note is A, which is above G, so naturally you will use the next finger to play the A. The next note is B, so of course that will be your third finger. And then you play the C note with your pinky. The second line of this song starts with a D, which is played on the A string with your first finger. And the rest of the song is played on the D string again. Here is exercise one completely.
when you can play the first five exercises in third position relatively easy, it's time to go to the intermediate exercises in third position. And that means shifting from first to third and back while playing a song. I'll show you how to do this by walking you through exercise six. In exercise six, you will start in first position with your first finger on the F sharp. Then in one bow stroke, you will play F sharp, A, and then A, F sharp. Then in the next bow stroke, you will play F sharp, shift and play A. And the diagonal lines above the sheet music will tell you when to shift up to third position or back down to first position. And as you can see by the finger numbers in the sheet music, your first finger will be the anchor point for shifting all the time. Apart from shifting during a bow stroke, which sounds like you will also find exercises to shift uh, while playing an open string, so you won't hear the sliding sound. You will also um, find exercises that help you shift from the second finger instead of the first one. And lastly, exercise 25 combines it all. So if you can play Exercise 25 with ease, well done. A tricky thing with third position is that at first you will have no clue whether to use high fingers or low fingers. Using a high second finger in first position does not necessarily mean that you will also have a high second finger in third position. It might be a low second finger. So at first that will feel they're very uneasy. So that's why you have to play the exercises in first position first, so you know what it sounds like. And then in third position, it's way easier to tell whether to use high or low second, third and fourth finger. But what I found super helpful is this. I drew this cheat sheet last year when I just started playing in third position. And it's actually a visual guide for me to see where the notes are. So when I'm playing my scales in third position, for example, um, and I'm not sure whether to use a high or a low second finger, I will look at this and it actually is a visual guide. Some notes have the same color, it means that they are the same note. In case you find this helpful, it's in the book as well. If you do these exercises often, you will be able to play in third position with relative ease in a few weeks. Still, it took me about a year before third position felt almost as natural as playing in first position. But I still mess up. Um, it often happens to me that I shift either too high or too low. So it all comes down to practice. But I guess you knew that already. Speaking of practice, once you are done with these, um, it is a very good idea to start using third position in every song you are playing. Not the entire song of course, but look for places where it's convenient to use third position. It will feel super kick-ass when you get it right. Okay, and that's it. I hope this video will give you a good start in playing in third position. Um, shifting positions is not as magical as it may seem. Um, it all comes down to technique and using your ears to check your intonation. Good luck with practicing. Let me know in the comments below if you find these exercises helpful. I would love to know that. And if you want to see more beginner violin videos, stay tuned and I will see you next time. Bye!